Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Copy vision from Saba Ace Kokane. I am also JJ, and welcome back to another Clash Royale episode. And today we are in a celebrative mood because, yes! I finally made it guys, check it out I got to master 2 Yes! To be honest, and I've been repeating myself all over social media I don't know if it's because of the league reset Or some people dropped out of Clash Royale Or um, yeah, it could be for a lot of reasons But one thing I cannot believe is that Did I get better? Did I get better? Because I, I just reached Master 1 like a couple of weeks ago and next thing I know I'm well not a couple of weeks ago last month I reached Master 1 and this month I reached Master 2 it took me like uh, in terms of like before it took me a while to get to, to, to Challenger 1, Challenger 2, Challenger 3 but for Master 1 and 2 I just got so much better I don't know because of the card level and you know that it's all thanks to that it's all thanks to the log bait uh, I use a lot of variation of it, but due to Valkyrie getting so strong, t Tesla being more reliable than it is before, I don't think, I disagree with that, I still don't think it's the best building in the game, or it's like so OP, because it does suffer in some matchups, but anyway, that's not the point, the point is that I'm pro, I'm a pro guys, and just just check it out, just just look at the, at the screen, so we're gonna, we're gonna go to top royales, we're gonna go to local, and we're gonna check out like who's the lowest of them all. And for the looks of it, 5302. 5302 Cheryl from Genesis is the 200 uh, 200 player. And well me, I'm 5207. So I'm so close to being top 200 for the local server. And that's an amazing feat. That is an amazing feat. I hope I get there soon enough. Uh, but yeah guys, uh, give me a hoo or you know what, not, that's not practical. Why don't you just give me a like uh, for this video to congratulate me that because I made it. I made it to this uh, this far in Clash Royale. Um, I still I one of the things I'm still weak at. Even though on my uh, profile I have reached max 12 wins, I still do very bad in classic challenge, and I don't dare to spend my gems in grand challenges because I don't have the money for it. If you want to donate. I don't mind <laughs> but it's been a while since I've joined a competition for Clash Royale uh, since last year in UMS uh, but I've been I've been still at the game getting better at it because it's the most competitive game that I have right now uh, but yeah enough about uh, me talking about it we just we're gonna go to some gameplays and have a discussion of like how do you play long bait or how do you uh, what was your mindset on getting here because people ask me like why do you keep playing the game or uh, is it that fun and what's this goal of yours to reaching the best? Well, uh, for some of you that actually watched my video, I'm a very competitive person and uh, this game uh, kind of gives me that thrill of comp competition. And here, uh, we're gonna go check out my winning uh, ladder. Yeah, you know, we're gonna check my, my ladder match that took me to all the way um, to, the, to here. And surprisingly, we're gonna be watching a match that's against another log bait but instead of using you know um, it's complete opposite as you can see I don't need uh, same the only thing we use the same is the ice spirit princess goblin barrel and goblin gang so let's jump right into it yeah so no, I should put my phone here yeah so guys um, when you play a log bait deck it's all about just understanding well the basic fundamentals of Clash Royale is understanding what your your opponent has and you know what doesn't matter if they have a higher card you see he has a higher princess um, he probably has a level 11 um, uh, fireball and you can see he's he's trying to switch it up with his placement he has a max goblin um, goblin gang as well but I also have a max goblin gang so he's unfortunately his zap won't do much work uh, yeah, you can see a, 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 a full level Goblin Gang and Goblin Barrel won't get zapped like right away. They'll still be alive. 
so what I'm trying to do here is just trying to find a way to outcycle him and uh, see what 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 sort of player he is. Uh, you can tell uh, he's a uh, rushy. I'm not gonna use. I didn't want to use my uh, log because I need my log. You want to be as stubborn as as possible to not use your log and try to use other form of defense because you want to be able to do that because it's a good trade-off. At the end of the day, whoever has log and logs your goblin baron is a good trade-off. You spend four elixir while the other people spend two elixir to just kill off your log and that's a good trade-off. For him, it was an even trade for his fireball and for his uh, for my uh, goblin barrel. So it's an even trade, not, not, not losing elixir but he did lose some elixir when I used my log. And currently we're about the same elixir as you can tell. I'm just trying to have a good read of him, he's trying to defend my Valkyrie because Valkyrie is so good right now. Even though I don't have a max level, a level 10 Valkyrie is enough and as you can see I'm high up. And you see right there, he tries to trick me with his um, with his long throw of a Goblin Barrel. Uh, but uh, instead I, I managed to see where it goes. It, it's hard to, to time it or to really um, understand how, yeah, how, how like the go where where you where you throw your goblin barrel, it has this certain look to it. And when it's up in the air, it goes it either goes further up in the air or it goes shorter. You you just you kind of know the placing of it. So then he he throws it to the left side. I didn't give it a good read. Uh, I I almost kind of missed. I almost kind of missed. Luckily, the last goblin kind of walked into the barrel. So he used his uh, infernal tower. Then give me a sign of like, okay, he's gonna defend. Now I wanna just rocket it all the way. I put my Valkyrie there, I have my barrel at the ready, I don't, I, I kind of misjudged that uh, barrel but no, I mean it's not too bad, 2,229, it's still very far off, I'm like, I only, I only need a barrel and a rocket. So what I'm going to do here is just going to defend my heart out, just use whatever I have, use uh, my goblin, um, my goblin gang, my Valkyrie to defend and with that just wait, I'm just waiting for my, um, uh, barrel and rocket to be at the ready and there you go just one rocket and one log and I won see and uh, I met a good opponent he wished me luck I wish him luck good game thank you big boss from elixir kings so yeah guys uh, now we're just gonna play some random clan war videos uh, uh, some matchups uh, because uh, uh, after I managed to climb up to master 2 I was doing a collection for my clans so the first match we're gonna see is a sudden death. I think this one's gonna be pretty quick. So, uh, why do I still play this game? Because it's not like the other game. I don't. I'm not really a fan of MOBA. I'm not a fan of uh, Mobile Legends. Or uh, I, I was a fan of Vainglory, but it was very hard to do the tapping and understanding the game. And uh, no offense, I don't like to spend a lot of time on my phone in terms of uh, one match. Why I like um, why I like Clash Royale. It's pretty simple. I like how fast it is. It's three minutes or even less if you trick crown and it's I mean yes it will get disrupted if you play outside it, the safest way to play Clash Royale is actually um, you know, with a Wi-Fi so you don't get disconnected when someone call you but Clash Royale is very fun it just gives me that thrill and that composure it's a simple game but yet it's very difficult to be the best at it and that's what I like um, and there are other games like a AOV, Bangalore, PUBGs and all that and they're all Great game, it's great game. I have a lot of people who are heavily invested in it, but uh, for me, uh, uh, Clash Royale just does it for me because I guess I just love card games more. Uh, I love, I used to have Pokemon. Uh, I play Netrunner. Um, yeah, sad, sad case. Hashtag Netrunner ending soon. Uh, uh, I play lots of card games, uh, and Clash Royale is a card game, in essence, if you think about it. Not, not even if you think about it. You just see it, the elixir cost and all that. But the great thing about this card game is, uh, it's live. It's a uh, real-time gameplay. Uh, as you can see uh, from the gameplay, you know, uh, I, I try to remain as composed as I can because I'm I get a beat-down deck. I uh, have to really know when to play the rocket. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's why I play Crusher. I just love it. Um, uh, I don't know how else to put it. Why is the sky blue? We don't know. Why do I love Crusher Royale? I don't know. I just do. Um, why have I invested so long in this game? Sorry. Why am I so invested in this game? Well, because I'm good at it and I hope to see like a community here that is very strong and you know, hopefully Malaysia comes up with their first um, 
Clash Royale team. I mean, I know we have Saba Ultra, and uh, respect to Saba Ultra for having a team here. Um, maybe I'll join them someday. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of like loyal to my clan, KK Zai, because uh, they brought me in and they were full of good players. I looked up to them, and now I'm above them. So that's pretty great. Ah, uh, they're still probably better than me. It's just that they're not invested as much as in the game as me. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty loyal. Uh, I wait to for someone to offer me like a paid job in Clash Royale, uh, or someone for or someone to pay me to advertise their uh, mobile game. But you know, uh, America has that cover. Uh, I don't know about KK. I don't know about Malaysia. You know, we're coming up there in a sense. But I'm so heavily invested in Clash Royale because it probably g gives me that hope that gaming can be a career for me. And I just, you know, I I really like the idea of. Uh, being paid to play a game that I'm good at and I enjoy uh, So I'm hoping for that day. I try not to invest so much in it I do have other stuff on the side. I I, I still have my uh, Bitcoin mining to 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 advertise to people uh, for BitClub Network. I have my advertisement agency I have social media. I have my YouTube channel. I still play my console game waiting to get a capture card someday to connect my PS4 to my laptop to to st uh, stream via Facebook because uh, no offense Twitch is great and all, uh, I just feel like Facebook is where it's at and it's going to be. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, even though I have a Twitch account, I have a YouTube account, I don't believe in the YouTube live, I think YouTube should just remain YouTube. It's great that I have live options. Twitch is great, but I don't think it's great for Malaysians, uh, especially if I'm not a girl, that's not pretty, I guess. Uh, to really get recognized, I guess you gotta do it on via Facebook, so I hope uh, someday I'll, I'll join the uh, Facebook community. Uh, Facebook gaming community. So how do I get? Um, another thing is how uh, how do I get better at this game? Well, it's pretty simple. I think I've said it so many times from my videos. I watch Sir Tang. I watch uh, Orange Juice. I watch Clash with Ash. Uh, sometimes uh, Surgical Goblin, who I should watch more often. But I kind of enjoy these three: Orange Juice, Sir Tang, and what. I don't really watch Molt anymore because he's more of a testimonial guy. He's a good player, casual. Uh, Nick and Knight is pretty good. Oh, Chief Pat. Chief Pat was my favorite because I feel like he related to me because we both uh, kind of lose our cool in front of the camera uh, a bit. I like it when he rages. It makes me feel what... And he rages for entertainment, not like some people who just lose their EQ and can't maintain for the video. I mean, it's great views and all, but uh, I just think you shouldn't lose your cool that much. Because Clash Royale, you need to be very composed. You're down one tower, it's not doesn't mean you can't come back from it. So yeah, Chief Pat, Orange Shoes, Clash with Ash, and Sir Tag uh, are the uh, go-to uh, Clash Royale YouTubers I, I learn from. My tips for Clash Royale is pretty simple, is, um, you know, just be aware of what the card does. Sometimes you have to accept that your matchup is just too good. They have the counter deck, and you can't do much unless they make a lot of mistakes. If they, if a great player, it's very difficult to uh, fight someone with a counter deck and can make a mis cannot make a mistake. Yeah, you're you're pretty much done. Uh, just do your best. Learn from the learn from your matchups. Uh, timing, position, learning about card interactions. Uh, the little difference, the decision making of like leaking elixir or going or going all out on a lane or splitting lanes. Those are a lot of things you have to think into the factor. And uh, I know I said earlier it's a simple game, but after just saying all those things out, what you have to consider, yeah, it's mind boggling. But there's not too many tools out there. It's not like when you go to Vainglory or Mobile Legends, you have to buy outfits that certain stacks that gives up your that boosts you up this way or certain signature moves. Um, Clash Royale is so much simpler in the sense that you only need to know that one card and how it interacts with another card or how uh, a few cards are really uh, efficient and uh, has a great combination to what it's great in offense, it's great, it's great in defense. Um, yeah, there's so much insight to Clash Royale. It's, it's simple in a way that makes you feel like, oh, I can do this, you know? Uh, I mean, for those people who are heavily uh, into strategy games, yes, go to Vainglory, go to AOV. Uh, if you have great tapping skills or great thumbs and all that on your phone, yeah, go ahead. I prefer the Clash Royale one because you, all you, got, you can use one finger. I play one finger. I heard that some Clash Royale players play with two fingers. I can't do that. I, I'm very used to one finger. Probably I need to up my game to do two fingers because you could put two cards down if you have enough elixir. 
And uh, that, that, those are my tips of getting better at this game. Uh, will I be playing this game forever? Uh, I hope so. Um, my fiance doesn't hope so. She doesn't like that sound. The sound of like, dun -dun 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 -dun, and she's like, uh -huh. you know, we 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 all have that uh, partner. But she's very she's been very supportive. And when I won the when I won last year's tournament, she actually didn't think I was uh, that good to actually win a tournament of forty people. I was surprised myself. It's just that. Because she was saying that like how bad uh, am I at this game? So hashtag humble. I've always spoke about myself about the game, like how it frustrates me and all that. But uh, yeah, it surprised my fiance that like I could win a tournament and win uh, money out of it. So yeah. Uh, what else do I have to say? I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to do a celebrate, uh, just like a testimony of like um, like how is this done? I, I oh yeah, I, I promised you guys that I was supposed to invite. Uh, Reaper ZH from YouTube to come into my channel and maybe interview him and ask him a few tips on how he continues to grow. He's a student. He's younger than me, and the reason why I couldn't get in touch with him is because he's been uh, uh, doing the exams. I'm still trying to find a day to, to to find a way to interview him and get him to my channel, or we do a two versus two. I'll probably do separate videos. One like one like I do an interview with him and just to get to know him a bit, and the other is uh, the other part is. Um, I do a 2 versus 2 with him. Uh, yeah, sounds great, right? Uh, with that, guys, um, yeah, this video is going long enough already. It's about 15 minutes in, I think. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, give me a like for reaching Master 2. Hopefully, I'll reach. Uh, hopefully, I'll reach Master 3. 5,500. 5, 5, that doesn't seem far, right? Well, if you're a Clash Royale player, you know that's very, very far. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully I'll max out my Rocket, my Valkyrie, my Princess and my Log because once you go up there you need at least a level 4 Legendary to stay up in the big leagues. Um, yeah, with that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my replay, I uh, hope you enjoyed my rambling. Uh, I could give you some tips uh, for, for future gameplays, do comment below, let me know what you guys need. Um, yeah, or if not, don't listen to my tips. Go to Orange Juice, go to Satan, go to Clash with Ash. They're great people to watch. With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.